Hello, thank you for joining us today, Lendiger, Verano, and Davis. Uh, today, Roxana is going to talk about pay data transparency and reporting. The latest new law just passed. There you go, Roxana. Thank you. On September 27, 2022, Governor Newsom signed another groundbreaking pay transparency law, SB 1162, into law. According to the governor's press release, this new law is all about California's commitment to pay equity and supporting women with the goal of achieving true equality in California. This new law will require employers to disclose pay scales on all job postings and to current employees and to report additional pay data to the California Civil Rights Department, including median and mean hourly rates to better identify gender, ethnicity, and race-based pay disparities. Next. Okay. Before SB 1162, California employers were required to provide a pay scale to applicants of employment upon request by the applicant, but only after an initial interview. Beginning on January 1st, 2023, employers with 15 or more employees must include the pay scale for a position including job postings uh, posted by uh, third parties. Uh, give me a second, I, I'm, I'm not seeing the presentation. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, okay. Sorry about that, okay. Uh, including uh, posts by third parties on behalf of employers. Beginning January 1st, 2023, California employers must also provide current employees with the pay scale for the employee's current position upon request by that employee. Employers are also required to maintain records of the specific job titles and wage rate history throughout the employee's employment plus three years after the employment ends. Next. SB 1162 also expands the paid data reporting obligation for employers. Before SB 1162, employers with 100 or more employees had to submit yearly reports, which included only the number of employees at each establishment by race, ethnicity, and sex within each established job category. For example, professionals, technicians, laborers, et cetera. Next. However, starting on January 1st, 2023, employers with 100 or more employees will also have to report the median and mean hourly rate for each job position broken down by race, ethnicity, and sex for both traditional employees and those hired through labor contractors. Specifically, employers will have to submit a separate pay data report for each employee hire through labor contractors, meaning staffing agencies, and disclose the ownership names of all labor contractors used to supply employees. Next, and there is SB 1162, employers who fail to file a paid data report may be subject to a civil penalty of up to $100 per employee for the initial failure and up to 200 per employee for subsequent failures to file. The first report is due by May 10, 2023, and thereafter, reports will be due on the second Wednesday in May. That's a wrap. Wow, thank you so much, Roxana, and thank you all for joining us today uh, to listen and uh, learn the latest, uh, newest. And if you have any questions, please give Roxana a call. She's at this number here. Uh, extension 122 or send her an email. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay informed. Take care and have a wonderful day.